You're gonna need a few applications to edit it and make it your own and the first application that you're gonna need is After Effects CC or CS6 now this application costs money and like all of the applications I am gonna show you in the video but there is a way to get it for free legally and that's by downloading the free trial so just click on the free trial and it should take you to a new page and in this new page just select your skill level uh, this doesn't really matter just select this and then sign up for Adobe ID uh, if you don't have one so sign up and then it would download the application automatically and then once you have this you want to download uh, Cinema 4D from Maxon and this application costs money too but it has a demo download so I'm gonna leave the link for this in the description and fill this out and you'll be able to download it for free so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead to our template so my template has once you open the folder it has a c4d cinema 4d part and an after effects part so the first thing we want to do is double click on the cinema 4d file so once you click on the uh once you double click on the cinema 4d file it should launch in like some time after it loads up and it's gonna look something like this if you are using a windows it's gonna look like this exactly and what you have to do is you have to click on the name and then if you want to change it you can uh click click it and then change it to anything you want you can change it to uh tech and press enter and then once you click here it should uh, it should update the text and then most of the time there are two layers of text so change the other one too by clicking on it and change it to the same thing you change the first one too. Now once you click there it should update itself and now if we play the video as you can see uh, you can see the whole thing the whole animation kind of thing and it's really cool and if you press on um, if you press on render then if you click on render view it should show you what the text is gonna look like yeah it's gonna look something like this so just press on it and then now we what we want to do is we want to um, click on the text and if you want to change the font click on it come right here and then you can uh, change it to anything you want right now it's on plump but if I want to change it I can just click on any of these and it would change itself and if you also want to change the color double click here and you will be uh, able to change it but I don't suggest changing the color because if you change it and the particles and stuff in the background are different and the colors are different they don't mix they don't match it's gonna look a bit ugly in some intros so I don't suggest changing the color so once you have done that what you have to do is click here again onto your render settings and make sure it's 1280 by 720 if you have a 
good computer and if you have a, a like really good computer you can go ahead and put it on 1920 by 1080 that would be 1080p and then what you have to select where you're gonna save your file mine is gonna be on my desktop and then format should be set on QuickTime movie now you can do PNG sequences and that's going to be a bit faster and the quality is going to be a bit higher but it's going to be in loads and loads of pictures on your Mac so I don't suggest doing that. So instead just uh, select QuickTime Movie and then click here to start rendering your, uh, your intro. I have already done this so I'm not going to do this and I'm going to uh, be back in After Effects. So guys once you have finished exporting your Cinema 4D part of the intro now what you want to do is you want to uh, you want to go ahead and go into the After Effects part so this is going to be included in the folder too so double click on the After Effects part so guys now I am in After Effects and it should look something like this and it should say file missing when you start the, uh, uh, the After Effects because we have one file missing and we're gonna replace that with the one that we just made in Cinema 4D. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the template folder and you should drop down a menu and you should it should drop down this two things and you wanna replace this colorful thing, the PNG. Right click on it and then go on to replace footage and then click on file. So once you have done that, go wherever you saved your intro i saved my intro that i have exported from uh, cinema 4d on my desktop so i'm gonna select that file and click on open so guys once you have loaded your footage in after effects now there's one more thing to do and that is to export or render your video and that's really easy all you have to do is you just have to go to your composition and from there click on add to render queue and once you click here it should appear this kind of window should appear and make sure that it is on best settings and lossless and then you want to click where it says output and then um, you can save it on your desktop documents applications anywhere you want it to be uh, and the file format is going to be in a dot uh, movie QuickTime movie so uh, don't worry you can upload it to YouTube or edit it in other editing software so now what you want to do is name it whatever you want and just click on save and then from uh, here you want to click on render and it should start rendering and it's gonna take like 10 minutes or something depending on the speed of your computer and yeah I'll see you in the next video make your way over to blender.org a link will be in the description down below so once you're on the page all you just have to do is click this blender 2.75 download button and then it's going to take you to a new page as you can see there are different operating systems that you can choose from so choose whichever operating system that you're using so the program is free so you don't have to worry about paying for anything and don't worry there are no viruses at all so before I begin this tutorial, I just want to say that this tutorial works for all Blender intro templates as they all are the same to edit. All you just need to do is download it and put it on your desktop. And now you may get a file that looks like this. To open it up, all you just need to do is right click on it and click extract here. And it's going to start to extract on your desktop. And now we have a folder. And if we open up the folder, as you can see, we have the Blender file and we have a rendered intro folder for when we render our intro. So now you can just close the folder and open up Blender. You will be greeted with the page like this. All you just need to do is go to File, Open, and find wherever you saved your Blender intro template. So we saved ours on our desktop and in the intro template folder. So we just select it and click Open Blender File. And now we've opened up the Blender file. To change the text, all you just need to do is right click on the text, click Tab, Backspace, and then type in whatever you want. Click Tab again. Right click on the other text, click tab, backspace, type whatever you want again, click tab, and now we've edited the text. If you like to replace the font, all you just need to do is go to the F in the top right hand corner of the screen, click on it, and if you go down a little bit, you will see this font drop down menu. And if you want to remove or replace this font, all you just need to do is click the folder right beside it, and now find wherever your fonts are saved. They're usually saved in your C hard drive, Windows, and then fonts. So now we have a whole bunch of fonts to choose from. So choose whichever font you want. 
So once you found the font that you want to use, all you just need to do is click on it and click open font. And now we have to do it for the other text too. Click on the text, go to the folder, and then find wherever your fonts are saved. And then select the same font again, click open font, and now we've changed the font. Now we have to render it. And to do so, all I just need to do is go to the camera and scroll down a little bit and make sure that this is MPEG. And if you open up the encoding drop down menu and scroll down, make sure that this format is MPEG-4 and go down a little bit and make sure that this audio codec is MP3. So now we have to change the output folder and to do so, all you just need to do is click the folder right beside it and then choose wherever you want to save this. So I'm going to save this inside the rendered intro folder in our intro template. I'm going to save it as intro template and then you just click accept. And now to render the intro, all you just need to do is go to the render animation button here or go to render animation and now it's going to start to render your intro. So this can take anywhere from five minutes to a whole day. It just depends how fast your computer is and how many frames the whole intro has. So this intro has 230 frames. This will take my computer around five to 10 minutes to render. This has been your boy Jamal Pack with top free templates. Peace.